And we're back on stage. It's Devil May Cry time. And joining me, I've got Alex from Capcom. Wout from Capcom. And Tom McShay from GameSpot. Uh, gentlemen, Devil May Cry. This, a classic name, but a new look. Very new look, actually. Uh, yeah. Much different than any previous Devil May Cry visually and tonally. So we're pretty excited about it. Yeah, a great trailer released a little bit earlier. And uh, we are we going to see the game? We're going to see the game in action right now. Let's start it up because people are dying to see this happen. Uh, but yeah, Dante is looking quite young. Yeah, looking well, chipper. <laughs> it's, uh, it's sort of going back to the roots. It's a rebirth of the franchise. So we want to do a young Dante, show mm -hmm. how he came uh, to be the character we've all known and loved. And we saw that he's a real cocky guy. Like, he's very, <laughs> very confident in his abilities and real disdain for demons. Uh, Devil May Cry, for those who don't know, a long-running series focused on intense, com like, third-person action combat. Yeah and killing nasty, nasty demons. Nasty, nasty demons. And uh, more of the same this time around. Uh, he'll be killing tons of nasty demons, doing it with a more slightly updated tone and a uh, few new tricks on the weapons. He's still going to have uh, the sword, still going to uh -huh. have the ebony and ivory. A lot of continuity with people uh, already seen in the game. Mm -hmm. All right, so where are we at right now? Give us, a, give us some background for the demo. So we're actually embarking on the first uh, boss battle of the game. One, so we're about a third in at this point. All and right. uh, Dante has found the location of uh, a demon hideout where they are uh, making a rather nasty ingredient to put into a mass-produced soft drink. Ooh. Yeah, now that was something that struck me about the trailer you guys released was a, a video of someone wearing a mask and talking about bank the evils of surveillance, media bias, yep. banking, sort of uh, channeling almost an Occupy kind of mentality in terms of like raging against the established establishments of the world. Yeah. And is Dante's motivation just because like demons run those establishments? Is that it? Yeah, Dante is <laughs> primarily in it for the demons, not yep. so much for the social change. Uh -huh. yeah. But, you know, also protecting the drinking water. Like he's a, a little bit. If yes. he can do a little good while killing demons, why not? Oh, good lord. Now this is another, this is sort of one of the visually striking things you see is the tr element of transformation, not just within the environment, but within the demons, and oh, yuck. Yeah, well, she, that's the secret ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the, the whole thing is about transformation. The world is not what it appears in all things, so demons come out of actual people that the public perceives as being upstanding members of society. Uh -huh. uh, you just saw the world transform. That's uh, we're calling. That's a, a facet of what we're calling malice, which is the idea of the world being alive can react to you. Sometimes it's just for effect. Other times it creates gameplay possibilities by changing the environment and forcing Dante to react to it. Okay. And so this is the Dante talk smack to the demon section. Got to have a little bit of that. Yeah, he definitely is enjoying himself. Yeah. It seems. Tom, what do you make of this uh, horrible, gooey beast? It, I, it deserves to die, so <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to see it be killed. So I guess the big question I think that I have and many people have is uh, Ninja Theory is the developer and they are known for their cinematic expertise, but not their combat proficiency. That's not usually their biggest strength. So it's interesting that DMC, which is super technical, like, uh, how, uh, how is this transition taking place? How smooth is it? Well, actually, the thing is, we brought in a strike team of Capcom Japan guys, including the lead creative on Devil May Cry 2, 3, and 4. Okay. So it was all about getting those guys the knowledge of how to make these deep, immersive fighting games. I mean, with Heavenly Sword and Slave, to some degree, they'd shown that they had a latent ability to get it. So that fused with the narrative, their narrative strength, storytelling, and, and cinematic cutscenes. You know, it took a year of working with those guys in pre-production to get the Capcom wisdom, as it's called, over to them. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we effected a successful transfer. So you're hoping, ultimately, that this is going to have the amazing combat that the series is known for combined with, like, I don't think the storytelling. This is, this is like the dream. Yes. No, no. It's chocolate and the peanut butter. It's oh, totally wow. Yeah. Okay. Delicious. Yeah. Now, we've got questions coming in from fans all over the place, uh, so I'm going to interject those real quick here for you. Amr Mosin wants to know uh, about other familiar characters. Obviously, Dante's sort of gotten a, a makeover, but he's a very familiar dude. Yeah. Any other w characters coming in here that you can mention? Uh, I can't mention right now. We'll be talking about the story later. So that is a yes, is Amr, a yes. but we just can't <laughs> tell you. <ya. laughs> 
Oh, wow. Fate's He's got hit. some WWE style moves there. A little it. bit. Well, that's the thing. We wanted Dante not to be quite as polished. He's young. He's a little unpolished, a little rough. He goes in so, for that two footed jump kick. Yeah. <laughs> so she's attached to these tubes, and the whole point is a three stage fight. So you've got to pull her off these tubes and then pull her down from the main one that pumps the poison into the virility. And to do that, he'll have to use a couple of new mechanics uh, based on Dante's angel and demon nature. You'll see that uh, Wout just angel lifted to grapple across the area to switch platforms. Um, they also can use that to pull enemy or pull yourself up to enemies, reach areas in the world that otherwise are inaccessible. Okay. So it has combat and traversal. So it can uh, lock on to foes as well as you know these environmental hotspots. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you can lock on any any foe that's available to it at any time. There are no vulnerability windows or anything. Want to get up close and personal. Exactly. So the, the combat is, abominations. So you want to get the face, which Wout is currently not. There you go. Nope. Uh, Robertal419 is wondering about uh, Dante's abilities as you go throughout the game. Any kind of upgrades or evolution along that line? Yeah, I mean, like previous DMCs, you can upgrade your abilities, you can upgrade the weapons, you can uh, buy combos. So it's very consistent with what fans have known from previous DMCs. Excellent. One thing worth knowing is there's a lot of hidden depth in the combat. That uh, so we're very, very, very into the idea of making sure that for the hardcore they're getting the experience they wanted from a DMC game mm -hmm. while not walling out casual players so we have a sort of excessively skill based input so for all the players who want their depth they want jump canceling they want enemy step they want to do these sorts of things that DMC players show and do on YouTube all the time that's totally there for you but we haven't made it so over the top difficult that it disincentivizes casual players from trying it. Nice. This, this is not going to be like DMC3 then, which was, I mean, I don't want to say it's impossible, but oh. it was it was very close. It was impossible for me until the special <laughs> yeah. edition came out. Yeah, that was hard. So we probably dial it back a tick from there in okay. terms of its overall, not soul crushingly difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a question from Halo X PS3, oh. whose question is, makes no sense that he is young. To which I say, dude, he's <laughs> fighting like a giant larva worm. What kind of sense do you need this game to make? Come on. Video games, buddy. That's all the sense you need. Yeah. Do you really want an old Dante, like, using his... With a walker? His, yeah, his walker yeah, to hit, hit walker. the guy. Yeah, with a cane. He's got, like, a mace in, in, yeah. instead, of, <laughs> instead of a gun. Pop Geritol. You know that he would be you know, real. I think I just wrote the sequel to this game. I think we can go with that. Old Dante. Devil may age. <laughs> you know that dude would be able to wield a walker to deadly effect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> probably would. We could probably have Ninja come up with some cool walker mechanics. <laughs> all right, Alex. I presume that... Is, do we think this boss's death is imminent here? How, how close are we to... to uh, hey, wow, throw it into turbo mode. Okay. <laughs> Kick wow, it up. Let's wow, see some turbo. Wow can pick up the pace. You can drop in a counter. There you go. So what he did He's there only is, going at about a C pace oh, right now. Yeah, Lordy. I don't think Wout's going to triple S this one, unfortunately. That's we'll, all right. We're going to have to have a stern talking to after the show. No, we want to see some, you know, we want to spend our time here, but... Oh gosh, <laughs> punching it right in the face. Like how early is this boss? Is this just like a normal looking boss or is this like a real freaky one? Well, that's the thing, all our bosses are pretty epic. Right? So th this is, if anything, it's sort of the shallower end of the pool. We have oh, some, some pretty nasty. Awesome. Are there any plans for plushies of these bosses? <laughs> you know, our license department comes up with some pretty nifty ideas. Maybe a poison plushie that uttered profanities might go over incredibly I, just, well. Just, just throwing it out there. Um, we'll 10% uh, finder's fee on the you idea. You have an audience of one. On it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex. Well, I think we're going to have to wrap up before we see the grisly demise of this horrid beast. But oh, wow. Devil May Cry has got a lot of people excited. When are they going to be able to get their hands on it? January 15th, 2013. PS3, right. Xbox 360. Very good, Alex. Thank you so much for Thank bringing Devil for May Cry me. by. Awesome. Looking very good. Great. All right, folks, quick break, and then we're back with Gears of War Judgment.